Good day everyone, have you ever really wondered like how does Genshin's gacha system work? Like what is the magic behind like all of those pulls? Well it's actually pretty pretty simple and hopefully by the end of this video you will be able to understand the high level concepts and not just how to apply them to Genshin but to any gacha game in general and I, it's really something that I feel like I need to get out there because Tomorrow Nilo's gonna come in a few weeks the Nahida is gonna come and we're always just gonna get more and more characters but people whenever they pull they don't really have a good sense of well the actual statistics and they can end up easily overspending when they shouldn't so let's just sort of um, get into it now before we look at the actual gacha mechanics of Genshin Impact it's so so important to understand what a probability distribution is that's kind of like a big word but it's actually a very very simple concept so as you can see here on screen I've got two axes so I've got a value axis and I've got a how often axis so that's my x and y value and this is very very simple so imagine I have like a dice and I want to throw this dice and as you all know uh, how a dice works it's got like six sides and generally we assume that every side has an equal probability so if I throw the dice a whole bunch of times uh, I should on average get any given side one sixth of the time but let's assume that someone's been a bit of a cheat and they kind of loaded the dice and you start throwing this dice um, let's say about a thousand times because you are pretty bored uh, what you might then start doing is saying well okay let me count the number of times I've had like a three and that was like about 400 times and I counted the number of times I had a two that was like 350 and so on and if you start doing this and you start putting all of these numbers on a plot well you can sort of get a graph that is like very very funky like this in other words through all of these repeated experiments through repeatedly throwing the dice you can actually make a very good educated guess as to what the real outcomes are and this is what you can sort of see is sort of represented by a probability distribution it tells you what the value is so what is the value the five that I'm going to throw and how often can I throw it so I've only observed it like a hundred out of the thousand times then obviously that is more or less or roughly about a 10% chance that we can expect uh, for, um, for the dice to land on a five and very similarly we can approximately uh, say or expect that the dice will land on a three about 40% of the time. This is essentially the idea behind statistics behind creating a model so next time when you see that loaded dice you've got a very very good sense of what numbers to bet on and what numbers not to so it's a very very simple concept it's what you're gonna get and how often you're gonna get it so how does this relate to Genshin Impact well if you look at a website like GenshinWishes.com you can see that someone has actually um, done this experiment for us in other words what they did is they took the wishes from a large number of players and so you can see we have like 14 million wishes they looked at the number of times someone got a five star in this case we'll just use Ryan Shogun as an example and they actually then plotted it for us on a graph so to understand this five star quantity by pull number uh, what you need to do is you need to look at the pull number so this is 10 so after 10 wishes we can see here that pretty much uh, 1100 people got Ryan Shogun after like 10 wishes so this all assumes like you know you're starting at zero pity and now what is the um, number of wishes you need to make in order to sort of get a five star character and not surprisingly you can see that the majority of the wishes actually happened after your 74th um, pull and this is between like the 74th and like 84th wish and so on in other words if we look at all of these wishes we tally them up then we can actually create like we did here a proper statistical model for how likely it is that you're going to get your given character and hence we have a much better way of estimating the costs that are going to be involved when we let's say want to go for a ride in C2 or we're going to spend money on the game or if we're just kind of curious you know how lucky was I to get two Raiden Shoguns back to back uh, so this is what we can answer now obviously this is just um, a bunch of numbers on a website so let's see if we can find the actual mathematical model uh, that sort of describes this and obviously the guys um, that 
created this project genshinwishes.com has given it uh, to us in this article which i'll link in the description and let me just sort of give you a couple of key takeaways so as i sort of explained here earlier this is the model that we have and this is what the guys have estimated the model right in here in the bottom right hand corner and essentially what it shows is exactly what we sort of saw here uh, on this website and so on in that you are going to be very very unlikely to get your character um, before the 73rd pull and so on so just a couple of quick stats from my side uh, basically there is a roughly about a 35 percent chance that you'll get your five star characters uh, within 70 pulls um, most people or like half of the people in genshin impact will get their five star character after about 75 or 76 pulls and so on and also the odds that you'll get back to back five stars are much more likely than you getting a five star character and then let's say 20 or 30 wishes later getting then a five star character this is just sort of um, a property of geometric series and so on but yes true to their word hoyaverse does promise you a base rate of 0.6 percent and as you guys can see here on the purple probability chart and there it is until you hit about like pity or soft pity what that's what people kind of call it um, and in which case your odds of actually pulling a character are increased uh, linearly by six percent every chart every time so the odds like get very very high that you'll get a character and as you can see here uh, from the top graph and so on um, pretty much 90 percent of players will get their desired five star within 80 pulls so why is it important to be able to draw these graphs well once you have these graphs you can run simulations you can run best case scenarios worst case scenarios and ultimately you can work out you know what is the cost that I'm gonna incur and um, please for the love of God don't think of averages because the mathematical average is 62.5 pulls but m it's most likely if you look at the graphs and so on that you are gonna take about 75 wishes um, to get your desired character so in this case the median um, of 75 is a much better indicator than the average of 62 2.5 if you want me to explain why we generally don't just look at the average uh, let me know down in the comment section below uh, but the quick and dirty answer is is that the variation in what you can experience or the variance uh, is just way way too high so this is kind of why gotchas are so problematic they're so gotcha you know they they almost like designed um mathematically to be not in your favor so do spend responsibly and so on but yeah guys that has been it for this little video hopefully you understand now basically the concept of a distribution you also then understand like how genshin's gacha system works and yeah the big big takeaway is we're all unlucky and it's going to be damn expensive so that's with that sobering news thanks for listening cheers